a pressure chamber, a gravity-defying vacuum tube, a passenger capsule that moves through tunnels faster than a plane through the sky. Seems like science fiction, but we're actually building it. Hi, I'm Amber Lee. I've got the Toyota Mobile Weather Lab. Hi, Amber. Please come. This corrugated steel Culver City workspace is home to Hyperloop travel technology. My host, his name is Bebop Gresta. Like Bebop. Bebop Gresta. This man with a funny name has a serious mission. Imagine to be able to go from Los Angeles to San Francisco in 32 minutes. That's the goal of Hyperloop TT. And over the past several years, Bebop and his team have come up with a system they believe can deliver. Imagine a capsule full of people. You put this capsule inside a tube. You suck out the air from the tube so there's no resistance. Now you can move the capsule from point A to point B at almost the speed of sound using a tiny fraction of the energy. Of all the STEAM disciplines, this company leans on art and engineering the most. Engineering is not boring. Hyperloop travel relies on magnets and levitation. When the polarity of the magnets is balanced correctly, gravity can be defied. That's so cool! And travel can happen on very little energy. Hyper will not have windows. But it does have views. Designer Yayun Zhao is seeing to that. We need to think about uh, psychology, of yeah. how can we avoid claustrophobic. The solution? On-demand scenery through monitors that mimic windows. You want to see LA at the time where there was the gold rush? We can bring you there. Or we can bring you in the future or in the past underwater. Bebop hopes to open the first Hyperloop station in 2020 in Abu Dhabi. Meanwhile, his team is refining plans for Hyperloop travel here in the U.S. His advice for aspiring futurists? I suggest to actually have an approach of curiosity. Explore, fail, don't have a fear to fail. Try different things and you will find where you vibrate. Amber Lee, KCAL 9 News.